Welcome to this short video on telephone etiquette in the workplace. In this video, we will talk about the importance of phone etiquette. This is how you represent yourself and your organization to customers and coworkers through telephone communication. This includes the way you greet a customer, your tone of voice, choice of words, and how you end a call. Always keep in mind that professional telephone etiquette involves the following seven Ps. Being prepared, present, polite, patient, personable, professional, and proactive. You can use the following guidelines to assist you in achieving the seven Ps of telephone etiquette. Answer the call within three rings. Everyone likes quick responses when it comes to doing business. Make sure to be ready for any incoming calls or queries so you don't keep customers waiting. This shows customers that you are focused and ready for any incoming calls. Similarly, never leave the phone to ring until a customer hangs up as this reflects negatively on your organization. Also make sure that there is always someone available to answer phone calls in a timely manner. Immediately introduce yourself. When phoning an organization, customers typically want to know who they are speaking to. When you answer the phone, it is therefore good practice to introduce yourself immediately. You can introduce yourself by announcing your name and company name to the caller. This is especially important if you are the receptionist or the member who has ownership over incoming phone calls. The caller can then inform you if they would like to talk to someone specific. Make sure that you provide customers with the correct information so that they immediately have clarity. Speak clearly. When you are on the phone, be sure to speak clearly and slowly. This is important so the caller can understand you. Avoid making noises like breathing loudly into the phone, clearing your throat, or other background noises, as this can make it more difficult for the person on the other end to hear you. Also avoid talking too quickly. Sometimes, callers may be very soft-spoken and can be difficult to hear. Other times, customers may sound like they are talking over a microphone into your ear. Be sure to treat all types of callers with respect and regardless of their tone, talk to them with a consistent tone. Only use speakerphone when necessary. Speakerphones can be distracting to both parties. Sometimes when you place a call on loudspeaker, it can pick up all the background noise. From dogs barking, to people yelling in the background. Apart from being distracting, this can also make it challenging for the other person to hear what you are saying. It is therefore good practice to only use speakerphone when absolutely necessary. An example of this can be when a conference call is required and you have to talk to various parties that might be far away. In cases like this, you should try to take the call in a quiet room with only members who are part of the meeting. Actively listen and take notes. It is good practice to take notes of what the other person is saying while you are on the phone. If possible, write down key points on a notepad or on your computer screen. This will avoid interruption and possible distraction while the other person is speaking. Be sure, however, to avoid making assumptions. Rather ask the person clarifying questions about what they mean and what they may need assistance with. This can be of great help to you when the call is over. When you have notes to fall back on, it can be easier to find a solution for the customer's problem or to provide feedback on their inquiry. This will also show customers that you were really listening to them and that you made an effort to understand their situation or problem. Use proper language. When you are on the phone with a customer, it is important to use proper and professional language. Avoid using slang words, curse words, or words that are overly descriptive. If you use slang language when speaking with customers, for example, this can easily put them off and can cause your organization to come across as unprofessional. When you use proper language on the other hand, it shows customers that you are professional, and this is likely to increase their confidence in your ability to assist them with their needs. It is also important to make sure that you are culturally aware and careful not to offend others when you are talking to customers over the phone. When you are talking to a customer, do not change your tone of voice or attitude, depending on their characteristics. Remain cheerful. When in a professional setting, remember that you cannot take your personal problems out on customers. While we all experience personal troubles or pressures from time to time, it is important to remain polite and professional when interacting with customers on phone calls. 
If you are experiencing negative emotions or feelings while on the phone with a customer, it is important that you avoid showing signs of being upset, as this can be very confusing for the caller. Sighs and groans are examples of this and reflect poor phone etiquette. Your mood and manners on the phone can have a significant impact on the mood of the person on the other end of the line. So, regardless of your mood, try to answer the phone with a warm, friendly voice and make sure you're ready to engage in a conversation. Ask before putting someone on hold or transferring a call. When actioning a customer's request during a phone call, it is important that you provide them with as much clarity as possible. For example, if you need to check some facts for a customer while on the phone with them, don't just leave the customer in the dark and continue with your fact checks. Rather ask them if you can place them on hold while you continue with your checks. The same with transferring calls. If you need to transfer a call to someone else in your organization, make sure that you inform the person on the other end of the line that you will be transferring them. Additionally, it is good practice when a customer asks to be transferred to someone else to first find out if that person is available to take the customer's call. Do not just transfer calls to anyone in your organization when requested, as sometimes those individuals may be out of the office or unavailable. This can result in a bad customer experience that reflects poorly on your organization. Be honest if you don't know the answer. One of the biggest mistakes we can make is answering a customer's question without knowing what the correct answer is. When someone asks you something that you are unsure about, it is best to be honest with them. It is better to prioritize being honest and providing customers with accurate feedback over a quick response that may end up making the situation worse. Honesty really is the best policy. Should a customer require an answer right away, you can respond by telling them that you will provide them with feedback as soon as possible. You just have to do a fact check to provide accurate feedback. Be mindful of your volume. While on the phone, remember that you should be using a low to moderate volume when talking to others. Customers can become irritated or upset when they have to listen to someone who is talking too loudly. Avoid raising your voice while on the phone. You should also avoid using any noises that can be distracting, such as breathing or clearing your throat. Also remember not to talk too softly, as customers can struggle to hear you over the phone. Remember that, to you the volume may be acceptable, but sometimes to the person on the other end of the line, it can be very soft and unclear. Be sure that you keep the customer's experience in mind. Check for and respond to voicemails. Whenever you receive a missed call or voicemail, take a moment to check the caller's name and number against your contacts. When you do, remember to write down the information, so you'll have it available when you return the call. Being able to easily identify a customer from whom you received a call or voicemail is a nice courtesy that you can show to your customers. If a customer has left you a voicemail, acknowledge that it might be urgent and make it a priority to return their call. Returning a call after you received a voicemail shows the customer that you care about them and that you value delivering good service. Customers who feel valued are likely to remain customers. Be consistent. Being consistent means you handle all incoming and outgoing calls professionally. You answer queries that need answering, and you clear up any uncertainty. Additionally, many people prefer talking to the same salesperson, advisor, or support contact each time they call a specific organization. Being consistent means that the same, familiar contact person will be available for customers to speak with. Being consistent also means sticking to standardized response times. For example, if you always give customers feedback within two hours, you shouldn't suddenly take four days to give feedback. Never interrupt. Interrupting someone can sometimes happen unintentionally. Maybe you get distracted very easily or you lose focus. That doesn't mean the interruption came from a bad place, but it is still very unprofessional. Try your best to keep to yourself until the other person finishes their sentence. It shows them that you have respect for them and that you are professional. At times it can be hard not to interrupt someone, especially if you want to correct them with facts that can help in that specific conversation. But be professional and wait until there is an opportunity for you to speak. In this way, you can also avoid causing unnecessary tension or coming across as rude. Keep customers informed. Always keep them informed, whether you spoke to them yesterday or three months ago. Customers want to know that they are important to your company. 
If a customer had a query about something and you gave them feedback, follow up after a while. Make sure that they don't need anything else or let them know about any new offers that your organization might have. For example, keeping a customer informed can be, if a customer has ordered a product that is in backlog, you can update that customer each time you receive an update on an estimated time of arrival. How to say goodbye. Make sure that you always end a phone call on a cheerful note. Never let a customer think that the call was dreadful or long. Customers can easily be put off when the person on the other end of the line sounds impatient or rude. Make sure that you greet and end the conversation in the most cheerful way possible, as this will leave a lasting and pleasant impression with the customer. Phone etiquette is an essential component of business communication. You should be mindful of the different rules that govern good phone etiquette and implement them whenever you are communicating with customers. By following the guidelines mentioned in this video, you can communicate more effectively with your colleagues and customers. Thank you for watching this short video on telephone etiquette.